Hello and welcome to another episode of Bike Radar Diaries, which is all about what we like to get up to here at Bike Radar. Today I'm joined by Simon Bromley, Bike Radar's tech writer and special guest, my baby brother Cole, an actor by trade who's going to have a crack at riding his first ever century. Now Cole and I were lucky enough to grow up in the rugged Scottish Highlands and there we were lucky enough to do some really, really great rides and all of them were a complete and utter unmitigated disaster. Today, we're gonna to try and put that streak of bad luck to bed and have a go at Cole's first ever 100 mile ride. So Cole, you're on this nice rebel gravel bike. How does it compare to your normal bikes? Well, usually I'm on a 1989 Bianchi Grizzly in a one by eight setup and in the top gear, the chain loves to fly off. So I don't know if this is gonna to compare, to be honest. I don't think it's gonna have quite as much character, but we'll see how we get on. How's the fit? How does it feel? Yeah, it's good. So uh, I'm wearing these really lovely shoes. They're about a size and a half too big. So it's a little bit floaty. Uh, it feels like I'm sort of cycling in the middle of the foot. Uh, saddle's a little too, too far back. So I feel like my knees will probably get really nice and swollen by the end of the day. So I think all in all, it's really gonna to add to the roster of great cycles I've had with my brother. <laughs> Simon, how are you feeling this morning? Very good, been up since 6 a.m. Porridge, toast, orange juice, coffee, we're feeling good. Good, and what bike are you on today? I am on a lovely Genesis Quad Affair 40, GRX, Kenda tires, steel frame. What more could you ask for? I've gone full Instagram and today I'm gonna to be riding my Surly Steamroller flat bar, rim brake, fixed gear, gravel bike. It's one of my favorite all-time bikes, but we've got a really good mixed route today. I've done most of it before. It's really nice up towards kind of Gloucester Way, very flat on the roads for a long while. We're gonna have a ripping tailwind up, and then we turn inland up a very, very steep climb, very, very steep climb. <laughs> uh, and then we turn down the Foss Way, which is this really cool gravel road in the middle of the Cotswolds. It's dead straight for about 15, 20 miles, going to Bath, back to Bristol. We might have to do a little lap when we come in to get it up to 100 miles, but that's fine. We can stop and have a coffee somewhere along the way. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> okay, cool. You've had a whopping seven kilometers to warm up. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling right. Right. Oh, I'm feeling. Ready to seize the day, car PM, you know? It's a mantra I live by. <laughs> So we're in the Badlands now, the Flatlands, as we head up towards uh, Gloucester on the Avon Way, or Severn Way, sorry. Really nice, I mean, like this for 60K. It's almost like being in Belgium. What do you reckon, the Netherlands? Yeah, it's very, very flat. I've got a lovely tailwind, still, still plugging away at that. <laughs> nice dry roads, happy, healthy faces. It does feel like the Netherlands could my supple five seven frame is cycling amongst these six foot giants. <laughs> I'm a no hands expert. I do lots of my Instagram. Cole is learning the intricacies of riding. Oh, look at him, he's a pro! Oh, I'll get banana all over my gloves. Well done. Very, pr very, very proud of my baby brother. How do you rate Cole's performance so far, Simon? Yeah, it's very good. He's eating on the bike, you know, he's pedaling smoothly. Yeah, such souplesse. Not wasting any energy. You know, you know, he looks really good. Uh, Cole? Yeah? You can't ride here. It's not vegan. Oh shit, we're in ham. Oh no, I'll just have to turn around, guys. That's kind of laugh we have on this, these kind of rides, lads. Cracking jokes, just incredible banter. Incredible patter. So we're kind of just past the, the flat first bit of the ride. We've done a whopping, let's have a look, 57k. And we're now turning kind of inland 
up roughly in the direction of Froster. So we're not gonna have the tailwind, it's a bit of a crosswind now. We've got a really big climb coming up. I've never been up it before. I believe it's very, very steep. Uh, in fact, I know it's going to be very steep, so I'm looking forward to seeing how you get on, Paul. How are you feeling? I'm really enjoying the uh, extra length of the bike. It's really good for um, if you want to feel sick after eating and sort of like just squishing yourself up a little bit too far. So uh, over the course of 100 miles, I think it's going to be a really good experience. You have a sad tummy tonight. Uh, it's going to be a really character building experience. That's Climb Pro kicked in on the, go on the uh, Garmin. We've got 4.8k and 484 meters to go. Aptly named Peak Wayne, Peak Fun, Peak Experience. Part of the end. Dig in. <laughs> Got a good shooting cramp halfway up that hill. Yeah. <laughs> Almost threw up. Had to stop. I think to be fair, we are halfway up the hill now. Yeah. <laughs> fair way to go still. It's all right. You suffering? Yeah, my stomach's not happy. We've done 63 kilometers, so you've only got 100 more to go. This climb really, really is outrageously steep. Heights well over 20%. And uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to be judged for pushing up this. That is not a gear for climbing that. Okay, Cole, you've come up the climb, you've had a miserable time, your tummy's a bit sore. Okay. What are you thinking? Are we going to go track on for the 100 or do you want to take a shortcut back? I'd like to do the 100, uh, but we'll just... We'll have to see. I'm feeling pretty rough. No lie, no shame. It's important to be open about these things. I think if we're mostly flat, I might be able to push through. We're gonna end up finishing nine at night, aren't we? Probably. Still done it though. Right, we're just out of town. We've had a little snack, a little break. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I got the leg warmers back on because the temperature dropped a bit and we stopped. But yeah, I, feel, I, st I still feel really good. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I don't want to shout about it too much because obviously that can be a bit annoying. You had a little break there, Cole. Tried pushing out of poo for the abdominal. Nice, that's very, very, really nothing to the imagination for the viewers. I, uh, the abdominal walls were just, oh, there's a cow on the field, on the road. Oh. Oh yeah, that's good. I, it's feeling a bit better. I think I just being able to sit down just took some of the pressure off. So Simon, Cole, we're just past Nailsworth and now heading eastward yeah. towards the Foss Way. From there we turn almost directly south along the Foss Way. It's dead straight. It's quite odd for the UK to have any straight roads. This is an old kind of, an old byway, it goes as far as Leicester, I believe. Um, but it takes us, yeah, from Cotswolds Airport, pretty much into Bath, and then cycle path home. But should be plain sailing from now. We're halfway in now. More than halfway, More than really. Halfway, really. And the last bit is just, you know, kind of... A lap through Bristol to make it yeah. up to 100 miles. <laughs> so, like, we're over halfway. You know, you know this, the, the, the challenge is what makes it so fun. Jack, tell us, about four kilometers till we turn off Boss Way. What are you thinking? I'm psyched, I'm psyched. The bike's feeling good. I know it's good for this train. 40 mil tires, chunky. Not too chunky, just enough that I'm gonna be squashing along the gravel. Ease. Woo! <laughs> gravel! Thanks, Paul. This is like as close to real gravel riding as it gets in the Southwest. Simon's converted, he's loving it. He's talking about coming next, next summer on his TCR with 32s to take the KOM. <laughs> Bro, 
upper Edwin now properly fighting into it. Size of Edwin treating you, it's stretching and kissing me all over every inch of my body, just showing me so much love. Morale's dropping. I'll take that as a yes. So when we get to Bristol, we're only going to be on about, I don't know, 150-ish K, maybe 145. Do you think you're going to be able to muster the courage to um, rattle out the last 15 K on a lap around Ashton Court? It's not a, a question of if I can muster courage, it's that I'm definitely going to do it out of pure shame, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> That's fighting talk. Well, I'm sure you're all very inspired by Cole, so remember that, you know, one subscribe equals one prayer for Cole. <laughs> So we've just gone to the Bath to Bristol cycle path, which is a lovely kind of former railway line, I think. So it's nice and flat. Railway path is the giveaway there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice and flat, nice and tranquilo. You know, this this is this is the last bit. So we're basically we're basically we've basically done it. You know, we're, we're at Bath now, and Bath and Bristol are only only a few miles apart. So as luck would so have it, to urge Cole on for the last part of his ride, we bumped into long distance riding celebrity, Emily Chapel. Hello. Where have you been today? Uh, on a bike ride. Um, I've done my own century. Um, just a nice jaw. I went south out of Bristol, watched the sunrise over the Mendip. Mm -hmm. um, did a loop round through Wells, um, over some hills into Wiltshire a bit and back via lots of different bike paths through, through Radstock um, and Bath. That sounds absolutely delightful. <laughs> it has been a pleasure and a joy. And, and I don't always say that bike ride. And you know, as a seasoned long distance rider, what would be your advice for Cole if he wants to have another crack at a, a good century? Ooh, well, I mean, keep going, keep eating is usually my top advice. Mm -hmm. What Cole needs to do now is consider his recovery strategy. So I'm assuming you have some sort of big dinner plan. If you don't, I suggest you make one now. <laughs> um, and make sure you have a hot shower at your disposal and a warm bed. Simon, you're about to peel off. You're almost at home. You're not fussed about adding the extra on to make it the 100. What are you clocking out at? I think so. I'm probably going to just tick over 150k for a total of lapse time, it would just be over 10 hours. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, it's been a pleasure, well, uh... Nice. Come, fellas. 114 kilometers long, so about 12 inch to go a little bit more. This is nice and relaxing. Very, very refreshing. Oh my goodness, it's raining a lot now. Uh, this is really, just the way you want to finish a good long day out in the saddle. You know the end of Blade Runner, the final cut, but you might as well not watch any other version, but when Roy Batty is throwing Deckard around and the rain is pouring and it's a really philosophical moment about what it means to be human and the human experience, well, um, this is nothing like that because it's a really artful movie and this is just misery. <laughs> Sixty point eight. Sixty point nine. You've done it. One hundred miles. Woo! <laughs> so, Cole, congratulations! Your first hundred mile ride done. Did you have fun? I did. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of soul searching. There's a few low moments where like a Range Rover was coming by and I thought maybe if they bump me I can go home. But stuck with it. 
I strangely had a second wind when the heavens opened and uh, we've made it. But worth it, definitely. Thank you. Well, I had a really fun day. The bike was really good. The route was great. All that sort of stuff. I'm just happy to be home. I'm going to go have some tasty food. It was great that I got to share Cole's first century, my baby brother, with him. And of course, it would be remiss of me not to remind you to like, subscribe, and click that little bell icon. So every time I do something stupid, you get a notification. Why? Mm-hmm. <laughs>